Tonight we have an inside look at what happened during an officer involved shooting that left one woman dead. Her son and an off duty Border Patrol agent were also shot. CBS 4's Nestor Mato has an exclusive inside look into the shootout from the grieving husband of that victim who says he saw the whole thing go down. Tonight that family is gathering at the home with the lights on right behind me just hours after one woman was killed on that same driveway. Shootings, a chase, and, and the loss of a life. The father of 21-year-old Jesse Garcia says he was home Tuesday night when he saw his son desperately running towards him and his wife. Brownsville police and Cameron County Sheriff deputies chasing him down Camilla Street. That's where they grabbed him, over 20 cops and deputies. Then a shootout. His son and officers allegedly exchanging bullets. He says he saw his wife, 56-year-old Maria Isabel Garcia, take her last breath, killed while caught in the crossfire. Garcia says he has no idea why officers were after his son. He says he and his wife were just trying to help their boy. The suspect came out of his vehicle and confronted the, the couple on the driver's side with a weapon in hand. Just before the shootout, Brownsville Police Chief Orlando Rodriguez says Garcia's son confronted his ex, a 23-year-old girl, and her current boyfriend, a 44-year-old Border Patrol agent, Raul Hernandez. The two armed men reportedly got into a scuffle, taking each other's guns. Garcia allegedly shot the off-duty agent with his own weapon. Striking him in the mid-sec, in the, in the hip area. After investigators say Garcia shot Agent Hernandez, he got in his car trying to make it back home just blocks away. Police say Garcia used Hernandez's gun and shot at officers. That's when his mother was killed. She was struck uh, by a bullet uh, during, during the shootout. Garcia also struck and taken into custody. He is now in critical but stable condition and under guard at the hospital. Brownsville police are investigating the incident. Texas Rangers are now working to see whose bullet hit Mrs. Garcia. Two Cameron County Sheriff deputies and a Brownsville police officer involved in the shooting are on administrative leave tonight. In Brownsville, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.